Hi, I'm Brian Wood. I'm a web developer and I create a lot of different kinds of learning content. And we actually have Travis Nielsen here today from Google. So why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, uh, I, I design search at Google and I you know try to teach people what I'm learning lately through uh, videos and podcasts and speaking. Great. So we've, we've got research, let's say, and what we want to do now is we want to actually start to put that into practice. We want to create something. So after we've created these things, these, these personas, et cetera, what are we using this thing called prototyping for? What does that mean? A uh, prototype is just like the first version of whatever it is. So it should be like as, as, as easy to put together as possible. Uh, it shouldn't cost much to put together, and it should just convey the idea of what you're trying to ask, the, the, the question. It's supposed to answer a question. Okay, that makes sense. Low cost, high learning, I get that. Um, so I've heard a lot when it comes to prototyping of low fidelity versus high fidelity prototyping. Yeah. What, what's the difference between those two? What is it, what are they? If a prototype is a communication tool that's intended to ask a question, does this work? Um, then it could be anything from a, a sketch on a, on a napkin all the way to somebody, you know, use HTML and CSS and, you know, React, and they built a, a really whole working crazy. thought. Right. Yeah, <laughs> because it's, it's just supposed to answer the question, does this work? Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us are going to probably wind up creating prototypes and different tools, you know, um, like I tend to use Adobe XD, for yeah. instance. Yeah. XD is great, yeah, I use it for prototyping all the time. That's great. So, but but like you said, there's there's a lot of different ways to be able to do prototyping. Um, and we talk about prototyping objects or prototyping ways like low touch versus high touch. I've heard these mm -hmm. terms before. What, is, what yeah. does that mean? Well, it's just that like when we're doing the research, um, prototyping is a way to, to research and to validate ideas. So if we've designed something, put it put that prototype in front of a user. You're still doing research and it's very high touch. You want to get the user in front of it and say, I don't understand this, and then you have some more work to do. Or, this is great, and then you win. I got you. So you're kind of, you're, you're looking at, you're following what they're doing essentially based on what you've created already. Yeah. And this could be a low fidelity, which honestly a low fidelity wireframe to me can mean, tell me if I'm wrong, it's like gray boxes, sure. and, you know, yeah. that kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Just that's your design or, or the proof of concept. And then the high fidelity, which we're looking at, like full design. You're talking about full images, fonts, that kind of thing to work on. So that's right. Let's do this. Let's, I want to actually, I want to see one. Okay. Can you well, show us I just happen to be working on one. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is like a fun little camp a campground uh, finder app that I was playing with this weekend, and I have uh, in Adobe XD a bunch of screens that you can you know quickly walk through and design, and then there's this tab called prototype. And again, a prototype is to validate the question is does this work? And so the question I'm saying is like does this user flow work? Do people understand what they're doing? So I can use XD to run through and just kind of connect these screens. And then when I press play here, I get this prototype. And I can pretend that I'm the user. I can click through. I can kind of uh, scroll through and say, like, does this experience answer my questions? Does it meet my needs? Can I book a campground? And I can take this thing, put it on my phone, and, and show it to a user and say, does this make sense to you? Does this answer your question? Does it meet actually your need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. That makes sense. OK. And when you talked about user flow, you're saying, Help me out here. Well, user flow yeah. is basically saying if you tap this button, you're going to go to this next screen. That's it. Okay. Uh, how does a user move through the pro the product? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the, uh, to me that's amazing because in in Adobe XD, for instance, we could create a a low fidelity if we wanted to, right? Yeah. Gray boxes. Mm -hmm. Just kind of get the idea down based on the research we've done, that kind of thing, or even go as full as like a high fidelity, full on design, right? Mm -hmm. And get that's it going. Right. And, and test that flow. We, and test it, right? Yeah. yeah. And when we, we can share this, like you said, in different ways, which is great. So that's that's phenomenal. And so how do we use prototyping with user testing? We're going through and, like you said, getting it in front of them. Yeah. you I, Ideally, you want to be there. As a UX designer, be there when your thing is getting tested because it's going to break your heart, and that's good. <laughs> because yeah. uh, it, you want to get used to the idea of like learning that your assumptions were wrong. Because when you lean on your assumptions, you're, you're always going to you know be wrong. and asking the question to the user, what do you think will happen next? Is that what you expected? Does this meet your need? Will teach you so much more hmm. than just um, looking at some numbers or whatever. So a user, a user um, testing is to get in front of them, show, the, show them the, the prototype, and see them, see them use it. 
So <laughs> see if they can do it, you know? So, so a, a user prototype is like this, we could get it, if we're working in a bigger company, a bigger you know scenario, for instance, it could be people from outside, users yeah. we're bringing in, or it could be like your friend, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, one of the popular methods is called a cafe study. It's basically this idea of like, go to a cafe, stand outside and be like, hey, can you click this for me? Nice. What do you think will happen next? And then like, they're like, uh, I don't know, and you're like, thank you, next. <laughs> You know, just quick and dirty. So this is great because we now know what to do with the user research, with the personas we've created. We can take that information and we can start to, to get some a concrete thing down, right? Yeah. We can start to actually do this and then actually do some user testing using a program like Adobe XD. That's, mm -hmm. that's just, like I said, it's another step in the process.